Good morning all, out on the fields again in Norfolk. Today I'm on a new field. I've got the dais with me with the HF coil. I'll be running the same settings as my last video which was really productive. Hopefully this field will bring up some good finds again. Thanks for all the support on the last video much appreciated um, remember if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and you'll get to see all the new videos that uh, will, will be uploaded I've got some amazing land coming up and yeah get on and watch it right I'll see you on the first one Okay, so I've been uh, walking for about five minutes. Um, I had the sensitivity on 92, weren't picking much up at all. Um, so I've just raised it up to 95, which, you know, I'm starting to get the signals through now. I've got my first signal here. sort of late 50s early 60s quite a positive signal the ground's really hard hopefully that's out of the hole now yeah I hope everyone's uh, getting some bits up at the other rallies, which is detecting the veterans, which uh, that's Jason Massey's event. Obviously, he's uh, a bit under the weather at the minute, but the guys uh, put that event on for him just to get the show up and running. And then you've got Detective, oh, there you go, look, button for button boy. First signal. Next signal here, about five, six inches deep. High 80s, and you can just see it at the back there, it's flicked out. Look. We got ourselves. A little coin of some sort. I think it's a little bit too far gone. Maybe a farthing. Is it a farthing? Yeah, it's quite small. So, yeah, there you go. Hey, this one here was banging signal. Stopped me instantly. Solid 85. Still in the hole. Might be quite a big target, maybe. Strange one. Must be digging it wrong. No, she's down there. So it's quite a deep target. Hmm. 
Right, that's out. Really positive signal. Right, so a bit of lead. What's that, about eight, nine inches deep? And people say the dice don't get the depth. Okay, this one here, about four inches deep. Solid 79 on the control box. I'm using the XY screen. And look, it's a little button for button boy. There you go. Okay, one of my favourite finds here. Solid 70. Look at this. Look, watch winder. Or part of one. Happy with that. Brilliant. Okay, so I'll show you the settings I'm on today. Right. That's the Glen Lister settings again. Right, but the frequency, because I changed the coil, obviously this is HF, the other one was X35. We're on 28.8. Try and get the light better, that's it. Iron volume was 3, reactivity 2.5, audio response 4, notch 0, 0. Discrimination minus 2.5, sensitivity run between sort of 93 and 95. Right, so yeah, they're, they're the settings we're done. This is, I'll just show you what I've got. Um, obviously, I'll, I won't put every video up what I've dug because otherwise it'll, it'll be so long. But this is a two hour update to what I've had so far. Right, so we've got quite a few buttons. Obviously that that single coin there. I think that is a farthing. Um little watch winder. I think this is a musket ball with a bit out of the mould maybe. I'm not too sure on that. But yeah, so that's two hours so far on the HF coil XP dais. XY screen as well I run. Okay, so I'll see you on the next one. I have a little friend in the field with me, just over the way there. Now this one was a crazy signal, bang, no one would have missed it at all, about seven inches deep. 96, look at this, massive piece of lead luck is it? I caught it there with a the, spade, look at the size of that. I'll see if I can get any detail on it, I don't think there will be. Probably just some sort of weight or unsure. Is it one of them palm guard? Well, not palm guard. Yeah, definitely some sort of weight. Heavy old beast. It's got, I think that's a, well, hard to say. But yeah, good find. Right, this one, no depth required on the detector. Look at this. Early 60s, and that was literally just under a stone. I flicked it over, and that's this here. It's either a... I was going to say a watch winder, but it's looking to me like a nice little buckle, maybe. 
Yeah, I'd say a buckle. Look at that. And that's just under the surface. It's find time. Thanks for posting all your finds up on the Norfolk Button Boy Facebook group. We all love seeing everyone else's discoveries as they are unearthed. Well done. Some amazing finds have been posted this week. If you want your finds featured on the channel, get involved. Now, let's see the chosen finds for this week. Okay, so I just dug this one out here. Not very deep at all, about two, three inches. Really strong signal to the point of me thinking, was it iron? Now look at this at the back here, look. What's this here? I'll try and get in the light. Is this of some sort of horse mat harness or some sort of mount different there's the fit fittings on the back I'll try and give it a clean up it's interesting though nice okay so I'll give it a clean up look at that look it's got some detail on it it's nice that look there that I'll try and hold it so they're the bits on the back there. Can anyone help out what that is? It's nice though. Something different. Pop it in the old comments below if you don't mind. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so this is the midday roundup so far. Quite productive. Happy with what I've got so far. Love the little watch winder. This piece here is probably the find of the day so far. Big old lump of lead. Um, yeah, really good so far. And a lot of trash. Hold on. And so, we've got loads of trash in the poach as well so I don't just dig good stuff I dig it all there you go right okay so I dug this one here literally a couple of inches deep we're now back on all the cover crop land same bit of field but just down the end I've got this here did I do the Eighty-eight to ninety-one, and that's this item here. Unsure what it is. Might be off uh, farm machinery, or it might be one of the old. Ah, oh, yeah, I don't know what that is. Hmm, strange one. Probably modern. 
Okay guys, um, my afternoon didn't really get much better. All I was digging was loads and loads of lead. I'll show you now, hold on. Now look, this is all, all the lead and stuff I, I was digging. Absolutely loads. And they're, they're like big old pieces, you know. Absolutely loads. Um, really busy afternoon. But just didn't manage to get onto any hammers or um, any Romans. Not this time. But you can't get them all the time. But it's been a really busy day. Yeah, I just couldn't get onto any hammers or any Roman coins or any anything of interest really. Just a lot of lead. Um, the morning session was a little bit better. Right, I'll show you what I got. So today we ran with the XP dais with the HF coil. Um, the settings are Glen Lister's ones, which I put up on my last video. And the Black Adder stainless steel Spartan spade, she coped with the hard ground as well. Right, so this is what I managed today. Still a good selection, but not much of interest, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, it's been a good day. I enjoy it, you know, just getting out and about. I think you find this hair is a bit of a jetting. Detail totally gone on it. Um, find of the day, probably this this item here. Unsure what it is, but it's got some detail on it, which is nice. Um, yeah, really good. Nice little watch winder, happy with that. Okay, if you haven't already, click the old subscribe and uh, the notification bell. Hit all and you'll get um, notified when another video is uploaded. Okay, thanks ever so much for your support and I'll see you on the next one.